friends right now. Okay. So I'm in Europe also. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Great. It's good to have new people in my classes. I like I like meeting new people. So this is fun. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, we're live now. Um, just going to make a quick announcement about this class. Uh, my name is Andrea, and this is Verbling.com. This is a reading and pronunciation class. This is part two of our two-hour block of poems today. We'll be reading poems. You will learn some new words. You will learn some new expressions, maybe some new idioms, new sayings, new slang also. So you will um, be, we'll be reading poems together. I will be explaining the meanings of different words in the poem. Each poem tells a story too, so you get to, to hear a story as well. You will get practice reading. I will help you with every part of your pronunciation. So vowel sounds, consonants, word stress, syllable stress, intonation, rhythm, how, where, where the words are in time, the timing of all of your words. We will work on all of that. You will read a poem, you will learn new words. It's a, it's a good all-around class. All levels can come. So if you're a beginner, you can come. If you are advanced, you can come. Everyone in the middle can come too. So it's just um, a general pronunciation class. Um, this is with a U.S. accent. I'm from the United States, so that is the accent we will be using. Um, so some vowel sounds may be different than, for example, U.K. English. So if you want to sound more like an American, if you want to sound like a U.S. native speaker, then this is the, the pronunciation that we will do today. So it seems we have some people from last hour. Vincenzo is back for round two. My telephone because this hour that my my woman is coming, yeah. <laughs> my coffee is coming. You know, the, you the have fish. coffee. <laughs> no, my my cough, cough. Oh, your cough. cough. Okay. It's okay. Coming. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a good thing we we've got microphone settings. We can mute and stuff like that. Okay. Well, it's good that you're here. You will still get some good work on your pronunciation today. And we have Joy is in here for round two as well. Hi, teacher. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And we have Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Hey, hi, teacher. How are you? Doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks. Great. And we have Igor. Hi, Igor. Hi, teacher. Good to see you again. Yes, Igor is is up very early in Brazil. It's what is it? Six o'clock. Yeah. Wow. Six a.m. Igor is is very dedicated to his pronunciation. Six a.m. Six a.m. Yeah. pronunciation class. It's a good way to get started with your morning. A good exercise. Yes, and then you will be awake for the whole rest of the day. <laughs> Your lesson are very interesting, teacher. Great, thanks. I'm glad. Yeah, I like to. Um, I do a lot of funny poems. I like to use funny things. You notice in most of my lessons, I try to do something funny. If something makes you laugh, it's easier to remember. So I like to do funny stuff. So we have funny. It is Roald Dahl. Write his name if you want to look more at his poems. He wrote a lot, a lot of stuff. He wrote um, many funny poems, and he also he is famous for also children's books. He wrote a lot of books for children. So I read a lot of Roald Dahl when I was a child, and I really like his poems. So um, that's what we have been doing lately. Most of the poems you see will be by him. So you can look him up. You can. There's probably some books that you might enjoy by him as well. Very, very funny things that he writes. So we'll be doing a poem by him. Um, I have some other poems too, if we run out of time. If we run out of poems. I have a lot of poems today. I like poems because it's good to uh, work on your rhythm. So how, where the words go in time, the timing of all of the poems, all of the words. And it also helps you with word stress. Because most poems have very clear da 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 So that helps you there. So let's get started, so everyone gets some time to read. Um, if you're new to the class or if you are watching, you will listen to me read each part of the poem, and then you will read the poem. I will work with you on pronunciation, and then I will explain any words that might be unfamiliar. So if you don't know a word, if something you don't understand, just tell me, 
and I will explain it for you. So do not be afraid if you don't know something. Just tell me, because probably somebody else doesn't know either. <laughs> so the first one we will do is Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Maybe in your country you have a story about this, but this is a funny version of it. It's a so he wrote, used the story, but he made it funny. So this is Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. We'll be starting with this one today. Um, we have Lei Tuan in our class. Hello. I'm not sure how to say your name, but I think you are new. I think this is your first lesson with me. Hello. Hello. Can you Hello, say... Yeah. Can you say your name for me? Um, my name is Ein. Ein. Yeah. One more time. Ein. Okay. Ein. Yeah, okay. Ein. All right. Welcome. I think this is your first class with me. It's nice to meet you. Yes. It, yes. No. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm. I'm coming from Vietnam. Vietnam. Great. Great. Yeah. Well, good to see you. I'm glad you are in class. We will work on pronunciation and also poems, just reading too. So we will get started. First, you see the poem on the screen, Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Let's make this a little bigger. Yeah. There we go. All right. So uh, we will start with Igor. Um, I will read, and then Igor, you will read after me. You read the same thing back to me, and then we will talk about the the poem, what it was happening. We'll go down to, he ate her up in one big bite. So here's, here's what this sounds like, and then Igor will read after me. As soon as Wolf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth, the horrid grin, and Wolfie said, may I come in? Poor Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried. And she was absolutely right. He ate her up in one big bite. As soon as Olaf began to feel that he would like a decent meal, he went and knocked on Grandma's door. When Grandma opened it, she saw the sharp white teeth and hard green. And Wolf said, May I come in? Oh, Grandmama was terrified. He's going to eat me up, she cried, and she was absolutely right. And he ate her up in one big bite. Great. I like the one big bite at the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the wolf, it's a, it's a kind of animal. It um, looks kind of like a dog, but it's much bigger, and it's wild. It's a wild animal. The wolf is hungry. He wants a decent meal. He wants a meal that is satisfying. So maybe he wants to eat a person, possibly. He knocks on the door, and Grandma answers the door, and she sees that he has very sharp teeth. It's very dangerous. He has a horrid grin. Horrid is another word for very bad or horrible is where it comes from. Terrible, horrible, very bad. He's smiling at her, but it looks kind of evil. It looks very bad. Um, and he asks her, can I come in? May I come into your house? Will you let me in? She was terrified. She was very scared. She said, he's going to eat me up. So he's, he's going to eat me. And she was correct. She was right because he ate her. He only had to take one bite and he ate grandmama. He ate somebody's grandmother. So Igor, let's go to the word soon. Soon. Mm -hmm. As soon as. As soon as. Mm -hmm. Now you just did that correctly. Remember for everybody watching that last letter of this is an S. First letter of soon is an S also, so you put them together. As soon as. One more time, Igor, just demonstrate that for everyone. As soon as. As soon as. Mm -hmm. And wolf. Uh, once again. Wolf. Wolf. 
Mm -hmm. So the, there is an L sound in there, but it's very, very soft. Wolf. Wolf. Mm -hmm. And now say wood. 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 Wolf. Wolf. Wood. Wood. So the way, and remember, this is American pronunciation. In my U.S. accent, I say the L a little bit on wolf, but I don't say the L in wood. So there's, they look, they're similar words, but they're, they have a difference in the way that you say the L. So go back to wolf. Oh. And wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to knocked. Knocked. Mm -hmm. He went and knocked. He went and knocked. Mm -hmm. um, he went and knocked on grandma's door. He went and knocked on grandma's door. Mm -hmm. Opened. Opened. When grandma opened it. When grandma opened it. Let's connect these two words, opened and it. Opened it. Opened it. One more time, opened it. Opened it. Mm -hmm. When grandma opened it, she saw. When grandma, when grandma opened it, she saw. Mm -hmm. And then go down to horrid. 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 Yeah, so first syllable is going to be strong, and then in the second syllable with this I, the letter I, it's an I sound here. Horrid. 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 Say rid. 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 Horrid. Uh-huh. Horrid. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say this line. The sharp white teeth, the horrid grin. The sharp white teeth, the horrid grin. Mm -hmm. Wolfie. Wolfie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just a kind of a nickname. It's a, something kind of a cute name for the wolf. Wolfie. Wolfie. Mm -hmm. And Wolfie said, may I come in? And Wolfie said, may I come in? Mm -hmm. May I come in? Yes. May I come in? Uh-huh. So it's a question, so your, your voice will go up a little bit. Yes. Try that question. May I come in? May I come in? Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and then let's go to cried. Cried. Terrified. Terrified. Terrified with the first syllable strong. Terrified. Terrified. Uh -huh. uh, poor grandmama was terrified. Poor grandmama was terrified. Good. He's going to eat me up, she cried. He's going to eat me up, she cried. Mm -hmm. And now this word underneath that is absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so here with this T, not, not so much with the T sound. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes, so if you tell somebody that they are absolutely right, a person who is absolutely right is completely correct. They are not wrong at all. And she's not wrong because he does eat her up. All right, thanks, Igor. Okay, thank you. Okay, Joy will go next. Yes. All right, um, these two little sections here. But Grandmama was small and tough, and Wolfie wailed, That's not enough. I haven't yet begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. He ran around the kitchen yelping, I've got to have a second helping. Then added with a frightful leer, I'm therefore going to wait right here till Little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. But Grandmama was small and tough. And Wolfie well, that that's not enough. I haven't yet begun begun to feel that I have had a decent meal. 
He ran around the kitchen yelping, "I've got to have a second helping!" Then at, with a frightful leer, "I'm therefore going to wait right here till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood." Mm -hmm. Good. So Grandma is very small. And she's tough. If meat, like、um, you eat a steak or chicken or maybe pork, if if something that you eat is tough, that means it's hard to chew. It's not very tender. So she's not. She does not taste good, and she's too little. So she, the wolf does not have enough to eat. So he wants to have a second helping. If you a helping is a serving of food. So maybe you have a, a big meal. You eat everything on your plate. You want more food, so you put more food on your plate. That's a second helping there. So he does. The wolf decides to wait for Red Riding Hood to come.、Um, let's go to、um, Joy. That's not enough. That's not enough.、Mm -hmm. And Wolfie wailed. That's not enough. And Wolfie wailed. That's not enough.、Mm -hmm. And let's go to begun. Begun.、Mm -hmm. Begun to feel. Begun to feel. Uh huh. And decent here. Decent. Decent meal. Decent meal. Now here you can you don't have to say the t so much. Decent、mm -hmm. meal. Okay. Decent meal.、Mm -hmm. That I have had a decent meal. That I have had a decent meal.、Mm -hmm. So he does not feel like he has enough food. He is yelping. Try that word. Yelping.、Mm -hmm. And animals make sounds. They are yelping.、Uh, maybe it's、uh, he's, it's another way to say yelling. Also yelping. And let's say second helping. Second helping.、Mm -hmm. Helping with、um, help is strong in this one. Helping. Helping.、Mm -hmm. I've got to have a second helping. I've got to have a second helping.、Mm -hmm. Added. Added. Then added with a frightful leer. Then added with a frightful leer. Leer. Fright leer. Le leer. Mm -hmm. So a leer is、um, is like a scary look. Like he looks, he's he may he has a very、um, scary facial expression. If you leer at someone, you are looking at them, and you have a very you are trying to scare them. You're trying to make them afraid of you. So he's he has this kind of look on his face. Say、um, frightful leer. Frightful leer.、Mm -hmm. And say, wait right here. Wait right here.、Mm -hmm. Hood. Hood. Wood. Wood.、Mm -hmm. Comes walking. Come. Sorry. Comes home from walking in the wood. Comes home from walking in the wood.、Mm -hmm. Till little Miss Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. Till little Miss Red. Red Riding Hood comes home from walking in the wood. Yes, great. Thanks, Joy. Thank you, Tisha. So the wolf is still hungry, needs some food, so he's waiting for the little girl, Little Red Riding Hood, to come. Okay, and、um, sorry, can you say is it、um, Ayn? Can you say your name again? Hi. Say your name for me one more time. Um, my name is Ayn. Ein, ein. Okay.、Yeah. Okay. All right. So Ein, you will do the next part. Let's see. Go going down to the wolf replied. Down to here. He quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten those. He dressed himself in coat and hat. He put on shoes, and after that, he even brushed and curled his hair. Then sat himself in Grandma's chair. In came the little girl in red. She stopped. She stared, and then she said, 
What great big ears you have, Grandma. All the better to hear you with, the wolf replied. So go ahead, Ayn. Yes. Uh, he quickly put on Grandma's clothes. Of course, he hadn't eaten dough. He rest himself in a in clothes and hat. He put on shoes, and after that, he even dressed and I don't know this word curled curls and his hair. Then mm, set himself in Rama's chair. In came a little girl in rest. He she stopped and stared, and she, she stopped and she stared, and then she said, "What, what pretty big ear you have, Rama? On the matter to hear you with the word rely." Okay, thank you. So the wolf is trying to make himself look like grandma. He wants to look like grandma. So he puts he he wears grandma's clothes and shoes and then he he does things with his hair or his fur. So he brushes his hair. You take a hairbrush. Um, it is a, a thing that you use to to um, get tangles out of your hair. And he curls his hair. So his his hair is not straight. It is curly so it has little spirals in it. So he just makes himself look like Grandma. And the girl comes in and says, you have very big ears. And the wolf says, I have big ears so that I can hear you better, so I can listen. So let's go up to um, the first line, Ayn, and say quickly. Quickly. Mm -hmm. Grandma's. Grandma. Grand. Just say the, the first part of that word. Come on. Um, grand. grand. Yes, with the D sound, grand. Grand. Mm -hmm. Grandmas. Grandmas. Yeah, so when you say grandmas, make sure you have a D here. Um, sometimes with Vietnamese, you want to say an, a, like an S, a S or a Z sound instead of D. But yeah. yeah, make sure you get that D sound, grandmas. Grandmas. Yes. Uh, let's say grandmas clothes. Grand, grand, nice clothes. Mm -hmm. He quickly put on grandma's clothes. He he quickly put on grandma's clothes. Mm -hmm. And say also those. 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 Oh, hang on, I'll turn my screen on. Um, okay, so with the um, TH sound, uh, with TH, your tongue is going to be against your teeth. So instead of those, it's going to be those. Try that. I'm those. Those. So have your tongue behind those. your teeth. Yes. Again, those. Those. Getting closer. This is something that that you you practice a lot. Um, one more time. Those. Done. <laughs> yeah, that's getting better. That's not something that you will will fix in one day, but it's something to practice. Over yeah. time, those. Uh huh. So just just be aware of that sound, the the sound. So when you listen to to me, or if you watch TV in English, if you watch or if you, any kind of listening to English, listen for that the sound, th. Um, say eaten those. Say um, just this word here, actually, eaten. Eaten. Mm -hmm. Eaten those. Yoo those two words here. Eaten those. Eaten them. Mm -hmm. And now let's go to 
dressed. 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 So at the end of this word, it ends with the letter D, but let's make this D more of a T sound. Dressed. Dress. Dressed. Dressed. One more time. Dressed. So the last, the the end of the word will be with the T sound. Dressed. D sound. D. Dread. Say just dress. <sighs> Try just the first half of the word, just say dress. Dress. Now dressed. The now the entire word, the all of the word dressed. Dress. Dressed. Dread. Yes. So try try um working on the the difference between your s the s and the d sound dressed. We'll keep working on those kinds of words. Let's go to brushed. Dress. Yeah. So at the end of this one, same kind of thing. At the end, the last sound will be a t sound. Brushed. Brushed. Brush. Brushed. Brush. Give me a T sound at the end. End of the word brushed. D, D sound at the end? A T sound, actually. It's, there is a D, but we will say, you, we will use a T here. Brushed. Yeah. Brushed. Okay, and say curled. Curled. And now with curled, we will have more of a D at the end. Curled. Curled. Mm -hmm. And going down here, little. Little. Mm -hmm. The little girl. Oh, the little girl. In came the little girl in red. In in came a little girl in red. 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 Mm -hmm. One more time. In came the little girl in red. In came a little girl in red. Mm -hmm. Stopped. 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 Stuff. Stared. Stared. She stopped. She stared. Stop. She stopped. She stared. Mm -hmm. And say great. 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 Uh, more T at the end. Great. 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 Mm -hmm. What great big ears you have. What great big ears you have. Ears. Ears. Mm -hmm. What great big ears you have. What great big ears you have. Mm -hmm. And say better. Better. Mm -hmm. All the better. All the better. All the better to hear you with. All the better to hear you with. Mm -hmm. And replied. Reply. Yes. Let's do these two lines. All the better to hear you with. The wolf replied. All the better. To, all the better to hear you with. The word reply. Mm -hmm. Let's say this um, this line here. Go slower. All the better to hear you with. Um, all the better to hear you with. Okay. The word reply. Yes. Replied. One more time. Replied. 
we fly. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Thanks, Ayn. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and then next, um, can you say your name again? Uh, your name says uh, Lurayev, but I know that's not your name. My first name is Françoise. Françoise. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you will do the next section. Okay. What, what great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat this child. Compared with her old grandmama, she's going to taste like caviar. Then Little Red Riding Hood said, but Grandma, what a lovely big furry coat you have on. Okay. <clears throat> what great big eyes you have, Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you wave, the wolf replied. He sat there watching her and smiled. He thought, I'm going to eat the child compared with her old grandmama. She's going to taste like caviar. And then do that, this uh, next part here, right here. Ooh, maybe my connection has a problem. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can yes. hear you. Guys. Okay. Yes. Okay, um, Francoise, let's do um, this, uh, this part here too. Starting with, then Little Red Riding Hood said. Francoise, are you there? Maybe there's a connection problem with one of us. Hmm. You, you guys can still hear me? Yes. yes I can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that must. Maybe she just has a connection problem. Well, um, I'll give her a few minutes to come back. So here in the story, Little Red Riding Hood says that the wolf has very big eyes, and the wolf says that's so that I can see you better. All the better to see you with. Like I want to be able to look at you, and to to really be able to see you. So that is why I have big eyes. So he's. He's looking at her, he smiles at her, he's very excited because he thinks that um, Little Red White Riding Hood is going to be delicious, like she's going to taste very good. She's going to taste like caviar. Caviar is a very expensive um, food. It is um, a kind of fish eggs, eggs of a fish, and you put it on crackers and it's very fancy, it's very expensive. Some people like it a lot, so he thinks that Red Riding Hood is going to be like this very nice food. And then Redding, Little Red Riding Hood also sees that the wolf has a furry coat that's actually the fur, the hair of the wolf, and she thinks that Grandma is just wearing a coat in that way. Okay, so we lost Francoise. That's no good. Um, Oscar? Yes. I have a question. Okay. Could you take a look on Weibling chat oh. I, about pronunciation? Yes. Um, you see W O L D wood and W O O D wood. They're the same wood. Um, and just uh, one more question. Mhm. Mm uh, the those words has the same vowel. Sound. Oof yes. and oof. Oh, okay. Wolfy and woof. Oh, okay. Woof. Now, um, if you have W O O F, that's the sound that a dog makes. Woof. Yeah. Same vowel sound as wood and wood. Um, and then wolfy or W O L F, let's go with that. Wolf. So the animal. Yeah. More L in that one. Wolf. So woof. woof. And wolf. Wolf and oof. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. Uh -huh. Thanks. Yeah. So wolf has is the will have the most L sound out of those three. Okay. Um, Oscar, let's have you read this section. Yes. Same section. I start. Yes. Go ahead. 
Why great big eyes you have, grandma? Said little red reading hood, or the better to see you wave. The wolf replied. He said they're watching her and smiled. He, he thought, I'm going to eat this child, compared with her own grandma. She's going to test right caviar. The little red reading hood said, but grandma was a lovely great bed. Far record you have an aunt. Okay, thanks Oscar. Thanks. Let's go to Big. Big. Mm -hmm. Great big eyes. Great big eyes. Mm -hmm. Now just be careful. This is um, just something you have from speaking Spanish. Um, it's big and not big. Uh, yes, big. 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 Uh huh. Uh, what great big eyes you have. What great big eyes you have. Mm -hmm. And then here, have. Have. Yes, yes. So with that, have I open my mouth more. And that helps with pronunciation in general. If you open your mouth more, it's easier to say all the words. I in, see. In a lot of languages. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to writing. Riding. Mm -hmm. So she wears, her name is Little Red Riding Hood, and that's her name because she has a, uh, a hood. It's something that covers her head. I have a hood right now, actually. Let me show you. <laughs> Just one second. Um, let me get the screen off. So, hang on. Okay, so this is a hood. <laughs> so, but she has a red hood, so she's little red riding hood. Mm. She wears a, a hood that you wear when you like ride a, ho a horse or something. Mm. Very good. <laughs> yes, so that's a that's a hood. Yeah, part of your clothes. I'm always cold, so I wear a sweater with a hood on it a lot. Okay, uh, say little red riding hood. Say little red riding hood. 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 Yeah, so hood rhymes with wood, so W-O-O-D also rhymes with W-O-U-L-D, wood, hood. Uh, let's go to Hello. Maybe my connection is having a problem. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, Oscar, say better. Better. Mm -hmm. And now say thought. Thought. Mm -hmm. And grandmama. Grandmama. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. In is is fa of of fa. Which word? I, he, he thought, thought. Or, he, or, or, or he thought. Thought, yes. Thought. Ah, yes, thanks. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Um, say, he thought I'm going to eat this child. He thought I'm going to eat this child. Mm -hmm. Grandmama. Grandmama. Compared with her old grandmama. Compared with her old grandmama. Mm -hmm. And caviar. Caviar. Yeah. So that's that very fancy food. Fish eggs. I don't like it, but some people like it a lot. I guess the wolf likes caviar. He's rich. You're very rich. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, say so said. Said. What. What. What a lovely great big. What a lively what, ah, ah, yes, ah. what a lively great big. Lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. What a lovely great big. What a lovely great big. Mm -hmm. Furry. Furry. Furry coat. 
free coat. Furry coat you have on. Free coat you have on. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks, Oscar. Thank, thank you, teacher. Okay, uh, Francoise is back. Okay, that's okay. Uh, maybe, it's, yeah, computer problem. Okay, um, this is the same section that you read, Francoise. Let's go to um, you. So this is for Francoise to read. You can turn your microphone on. When you enter the Hangout, your microphone is muted. Oh, there you go. Okay, um, say this word for me, you. Yoo-hoo. Okay, maybe there's still maybe a microphone problem or something. Francoise, are you there? Hmm. It looks like your microphone is on in the Hangout, but maybe your computer has a problem. Computers. Yeah, computers are tricky things. Okay, I'll give her a few minutes to... Oh, there's her camera. Okay, so you're here? Oh, okay. Um, maybe your microphone isn't working. Your The microphone on the Hangouts, Francoise, it says that it is on, but maybe your computer microphone has a problem. Not sure. I will give you a few minutes. We will come back to you. Let's do um, Vincenzo, and then we'll do Vin Francois. Do you hear me, teacher? Do you yes. hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so Vincenzo, you'll do this next part. Um, okay. That's wrong, cried Wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah, uh, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head, and bang, 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 she shoots him dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. Mm -hmm. uh, that's wrong, cried the wolf. Have you forgot to tell me what big teeth I've got? Ah, well, no matter what you say, I'm going to eat you anyway. The small girl smiles when eyelid flickers. She whips a pistol from her knickers. She aims it at the creature's head, and bang, bang, bang! She shoots his, she shoots him head dead. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So in this story, in the original Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf story, not this version, but the, the first version of it, um, Little Red Riding Hood says, uh, what great big ears you have, what great big eyes you have, and then she also says, what big teeth you have, and then the wolf says, all the better to eat you, and then the wolf eats her. Here in the story, she does not ask, about the teeth, and so the wolf says, you forgot to ask me that part. <laughs> so, <laughs> Vincenzo, this word here, wolf, say the L more, wolf. Wolf. Mm -hmm. Wolf. Wolf. Mm -hmm. And, um, forgot. Forgot. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, let's go to, to tell me what big teeth I've got. To tell me what big teeth I've got. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Any is going to be stronger than way. Anyway. Anyway. Still no, no, no. less less way, more any. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit faster. Anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat you anyway. I'm going to eat you anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, no. the, the second. <laughs> yes, still, so um, think more about just having less on the way part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no. I'm going to eat you anyway. I'm going to eat you anyway. Now, it will help you with that word anyway if you make your voice go down a little bit after <laughs> any, not anyway, but anyway. Anyway. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Let's try uh, that sentence. I'm going to eat you anyway. I'm going to eat you anyway. 
uh, still, mm -hmm. they, yeah, I think now it's more like an intonation. So how high or low your voice is. At the end of anyway, make your voice go lower. I'm going to yeah. eat you anyway. I'm going to eat you anyway. Mm -hmm. And let's go to um, eyelid. Eyelid. Mm -hmm. Eyelid is the part of your eye. You blink with your eyelid. Uh -huh. yes. So her eyelid flickers. It just moves a little bit. So maybe she winks or blinks. Let's do that word, flickers. Yeah, flickers. Mm -hmm. Flickers is like a blink. Eh? Kind of, like yeah. A kind of blink. Kind of, okay. yeah. Lights can flicker. Like maybe you have a problem with your electricity in your house. The lights start going on and off. They're not bright. Ah, okay. They flicker. Yeah. Flickers, kind of flickers. like that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So her eyelid just it moves very fast. Maybe she blinks. Maybe she winks. When you wink, you blink with only one eye. So just something happens where she her eye moves a little bit. Say eyelid flickers. Eyelid flickers. Uh huh. One eyelid flickers. One eyelid flickers. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. The small girl smiles. One eyelid flickers. Mm -hmm. Pistol. Pistol. Pistol is a kind of gun. Knickers. <coughs> Knickers. Now, knickers is kind of an old fashioned word. Knickers is another word for pants. So she has a gun in her pants. Or maybe she has a gun in her pocket of her pants. What kind of pants, teacher? We can knickers. Knickers, um, I have worn them before. I've worn them as part of a uniform. It's, um, if you imagine, <laughs> I don't know, let's, let's Google, let's, let's look at what they are on Google images. I'm not sure exactly how to explain knickers. You kind of just have to look at them. It's a kind of a very old-fashioned pair of pants. Um, it can also be like underwear, also knickers. I have seen. I have worn pants that were knickers. Oh, here's a picture of them. Um, this is. I think this is the kind that they're talking about. Here, let me pull the image up. Uh, change my screen. So. Everyone, I think this is, knickers can be like underwear, but they can also be like this here. So it's kind of an old-fashioned pant, like people wear, people wear them to school sometimes. So that's knickers. Or it could be also like underwear too. Okay, um, so that's that word. Let me get the poem back. Vincenzo's frozen. Vincenzo, are you there? Yoo -hoo. Your picture is frozen. Unless Vincenzo is very good at not blinking. Are <laughs> there? <laughs> okay, looks like maybe there's some connection problem there. Yeah. So, well, maybe he'll come back in a in a minute. Um. So she, Little Red Riding Hood, smiles. Her her eye moves a little bit. Her eyelid moves a little bit. Um, she has a gun in her pants, in her knickers, and she shoots the wolf in the head. And a word that we use a lot for shooting is bang. So, like, and she and she shot him, bang. That's the the in automatopoeia, it describes the sound of a of a gun when you shoot someone. And so she shoots him dead. She shoots him, and he dies. She kills the wolf. Vincenzo's still frozen. Vincenzo, it looks like. You don't have to blink your eyes ever. You can just stare at us <laughs> without moving your face. Okay, there we go. I'm flicking. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not flickering at all. You're just staring. I'm flickering. I'm flickering. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes. I'm, I'm flickering just a moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Vincenzo, say creatures. Creatures. Mm hmm she aims it at the creature's head. She aims at the creature's head. A little slower. She aims it at the creature's head. She aims it at the creature's head. Cre so not creatures, but creatures. <laughs> she aims it at the creature's head. Mm -hmm. Bang. Bang. Mm -hmm. It's a open, in open eye or a, in open? Yeah, open. Bang. bang. Bang, yes. Bang, 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 bang. Yes. 
Yeah, so if you are <laughs> pretending to have a gun, you can say bang. Yes. Bang. Okay, uh, and dead. Dead. Uh-huh. She, sh she shoots him dead. He shoots him dead. And bang, 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 she shoots him dead. And bang, 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 she shoots his hand dead. No, she shoots <laughs> him <laughs> shoots And bang, him bang, bang. <laughs> one more yeah. time. And bang, 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 <laughs> she shoots him dead. And bang, 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 she shoots him dead. Yes. Good. Sounds so. good. <laughs> <laughs> good. So, Little Red Riding Hood, this is a different story than normal. The original version of the story, the wolf eats Little Red Riding Hood, but here, Little Red Riding Hood shoots the wolf. She kills the wolf. So, this is a different than normal. Okay, uh, let's try Francoise. Is your microphone still having problems? You can just type in the chat box. If your microphone still has a problem. She is freaking. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, no, we can't hear you. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's not so good. She's frozen. Well, that's just her picture. But I think there's a problem with the microphone. Vincenzo, you're still frozen too. <laughs> What's the meaning? It looks like you're. It looks like you're just staring at us. Like you don't have to blink your eyes. No, no. Excuse me. Do you hear me? I hear you, Vincenzo. Do you hear me? Yes. 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 I'm, yes. Am I frozen? No. Your picture is frozen. I'm frozen. Do you hear? Yes. Hard. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can hear you. But okay. I, I don't see me. I don't see me frozen, teacher. Okay. I, I mean, well, you're, you're, me fro uh, moving. Okay, moving. your video, your video yeah. is frozen. So, yeah, in your video, some with my maybe I see, we, in, I see me normal, nor in normal way. Uh, okay. I don't see, I don't see me frozen. <laughs> That's very strange. Okay. But, bah. I don't know, Vincenzo. But oh, there, you, now you moved. Now you moved. My, my connection, perhaps. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, um, let's look at the next section. Um, let's have um, Ian. You can do the last part. We're almost done. I must change from my computer, perhaps. Maybe. Okay, so we just have a very short section. This will be for Ian. A few weeks later, in the wood, I came across Miss Riding Hood. But what a change! No cloak of red, no silly hood upon her head. She said, hello, and do please note my lovely furry wolfskin coat. Please note my lovely So Red Riding Hood now does not wear a Red Riding Hood anymore. She killed the wolf, so now she wears the wolf's <laughs> fur as a and coat. Made the, and made the hello, a coat. Yes, she made a lovely coat. A lovely coat. A uh -huh. lovely furry. Furry, furry. What is furry? furry? It's covered. It, it's covered in animal hair, furry. Fur is the the hair of an animal, like a wolf or a dog or a cat. They ah, all furry. have fur. Yes. Furry. The, yes, yes. So it's furry. So there's it's it's made out of the wolf's fur. Uh, fur. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, Ian, please read this last section of the poem. Okay. Words. A few week. A few. A few Words. week later, in the wall. I came across a missing crying hood. What gonna chance? No. No cloak. No cloak of red. No silly hood upon her head. She says hello and doubly and doubly not. My lovely furry skin. Coat. And do a little. Coat. Oh my gosh. My gosh. <laughs> Chinzo, I'm muting you so I can hear. Okay. Uh, I'm say weeks. Week. Weeks. Week. Give me the S sound at the end. Weeks. Week. Yes, closer. Weeks. 
Width. Mm -hmm. And say across. Across. Mm -hmm. Change. 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 Mm -hmm. Cloak. 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 Uh -huh. A cloak is another word for a coat, something that you wear in the winter time to stay warm. And let's say silly. Silly. Uh -huh. Silly is the is the opposite of serious. So it's yeah, her, yeah it looks silly. Um, hood. Hmm? Hood. Hood. Upon. Upon. No silly hood upon. No silly hood upon. Uh huh. And say please. Please. Uh huh. Note. Note. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Furry. Furry. Wolf skin. Wolf skin. And coat. Coat. My lovely furry wolf skin coat. My lovely furry wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. The last two words here. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Just uh, wolf skin with no s at the end. Wolf skin. Wolf skin. Mm -hmm. And two words. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin, when you put the two words together, wolf skin has no S at the end of the word. Wolf skin coat. <laughs> wolf skin coat. Mm -hmm. Yes, one more time. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Mm -hmm. make, make sure there's no, it's not wolf skin's coat, it's just wolf skin coat. Okay. One more time. Armas. Wolf skin coat. Wolf skin coat. Yes. Yeah. So just be careful you don't add any S sounds anywhere in the words. And that's, I know that's something mm -hmm. about, yeah. So, you know, you, you grow up with one language and now you have a new, all, all new sounds, new things to do. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for coming. Um, in about one minute, I'm doing a class where we watch uh, funny videos, video clip class. So um, if you want to have a discussion on those, we can do that. And that'll be fun. So um, I hope to see you then. If not, I hope you have a good Friday. And I hope to see you soon, another day. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.